Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside a rectangle we have a diagonal. The rectangle has dimensions of 3 and 4 for the width on the length and it has a diagonal inside and two other lines that are perpendicular to the diagonal which is in the diagonal is also connected to the corner of the rectangle as shown so we are required to find the length of the red segment okay so first thing that we have to notice is that this is a rectangle and that rectangle has a diagonal which is formed by the sides of this rectangle and that diagonal is actually a hypotenuse of the right triangle form so let us call the diagonal as d so d is equal to the square root of 3 square plus 4 square so the diagonal is this this whole length this is actually d so we have d is equal to the square root of 9 plus 16. So d is equal to the square root of 25 or d is equal to 5. Okay, so next is we focus on this triangle. This triangle which is half of the rectangle and this smaller triangle. So we have two triangles to focus on. Okay, so now that I have highlighted the larger triangle and the smaller triangle, the larger as blue and the smaller as orange, and as you can see, they are of course similar to each other. So if we label this angle as theta, and we label this as the complementary because this is from a 90 so they combine as 90 we can make this alpha so we just say that alpha plus theta is equal to 90 so if this is theta then this if this is alpha then this is theta and this is 90 and for this larger blue larger since this is 90 then this is 90 minus theta so this will be alpha okay okay so next thing that we need to do is we need to focus on this triangle that i labeled as orange another orange triangle this one so as you can see since this is alpha then we need to label this angle as the complementary of it. So the complementary is actually theta. And since these two orange triangles have a side in between two angles that are actually congruent then by angle side angle congruence theorem then these two triangles are congruent so this is also alpha so these two triangles are congruent and since they are congruent then this length should be also it should be also 9 all over 5 okay so next thing that we need to do is we need to focus on this triangle that I labeled as orange, another orange triangle, this one. So, as you can see, since this is alpha, then we need to label this angle as the complementary of it. So, the complementary is actually theta. And since these two orange triangles have a side in between two angles that are actually congruent then by angle side angle congruence theorem then these two triangles are congruent so this is also alpha 
So these two triangles are congruent, and since they are congruent, then this length should be also. It should be also nine all over five. And now for the final step, we are now ready to find the length of this red segment. So this is of course from the diagonal, but you need to subtract the two congruent lengths, which are nine all over five from the two congruent lengths from these two smaller orange right triangles. So we have if we label this as y, so y is equal to 5 minus 9 all over 5 minus 9 all over 5 so we have y is equal to the LCD is 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 minus 9 minus 9 so it's like it is 25 minus 18 so 25 minus 18 is equal to 7. So we have 7 over 5 units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more Mac videos like this. Thank you. Bye.